Meet Angel Adelaja. She's an epidemiologist and development consultant who has founded an organisation to boost food production on a local level. She and her team want to make it easier for young people to become active in agriculture by making new technologies such as hydroponics and containerized vertical farming available to them. We chose this instead of planting outside is because number one, it helps us to conserve space. So these plants, you would notice that um, one acre can usually do about 2,000 heads of lettuce. But with what we're doing here, one container, 20 foot container, which is about 14 square meters, is doing 3,000 heads of lettuce. So you take the bottom row, you now multiply it by four, and um, you get, you know, your crops. Their method uses 10 times less land, 10 times less water and less maintenance, yet guarantees 15 times higher yields. Then if you look at the crops as well, they, if I do it outside, I'm going to lose a lot of my crops because of the pests. So I'm always afraid that something's going to eat my crops, but you can see there is not one bite in these plants. She gathers the waste from her poultry house and dumps it into this compost pit. The resulting solution is added to her hydroponic systems as fertilizer for vegetables. They also cooperate with other farmers to help them compete on a commercial scale. As a young person who wants to get into agriculture, I found it very difficult to get access to land. I found it very difficult to get access to water and all the other things that I needed to do um, effective agriculture. And even then, you realize that you're not making as much, you're losing your crop. So we started with greenhouses and hydroponic systems and then we said okay how come we can't farm inside um, a container and retrofit it with a hydroponic system so we just tried it we've just kind of been kind of hacking our way through agriculture and this innovative farming technology is resilient to climate change it also helps to recycle these containers and other locally found materials it was something that was helping us to be more eco-friendly. Um, we were cautious of how much land we're using. We didn't want to go into the bush and clear land and destroy the forest. Um, we wanted to be cautious about how much water we were using. We didn't want to keep um, irrigating the soil and then it just runs off and then we have to get more water. We wanted to be able to make sure that we're increasing our yield per hectare. The idea behind this is to bring fresh quality produce directly to those who need it. They harvest at least 120 kilograms a month. So far, 88 companies buy the veggies in large quantities. Some individuals order as well. Food security, poverty and migration are persistent problems in Nigeria. I really just want to improve my country and add to my country. If I could be using my brain there, I can be using my brain here. So the concept is how do we develop our own spaces? How do we make sure that our own people have jobs? We're not going to wait for government to do it. We're not going to wait for anybody to do it. We're going to do it ourselves. In the meantime, Adelaja has moved on to the next generation in vertical farming technology. She wants to make agriculture more attractive to Nigeria's young people.